The EV mass is a series of independent process modules that can be integrated together to perform a customizable and scalable ethanol extraction process. The standard EV mass solution consists of the following components. The solvent management skid, which includes a dual jacketed tank along with a heat exchanger and pneumatic diaphragm pump. The CS30 centrifuge and accompanying control panel the single filtration skid, which also includes a heat exchanger and pneumatic diaphragm pump, one or more dual jacketed conical solvent tanks. Our standard solution includes three of these tanks. And our filtration and color remediation skid. For ease of install, gather and stage all components listed on your bill of materials and ensure everything is readily accessible. Necessary items include discharge hosing, pressure equalization line, stainless steel piping, guylon gaskets, and both one and a half and two inch tri-clamp fittings, which should be prepared with anti-seize compound applied to the bolts before beginning the installation. Now let's get started. Attach discharge hose from solvent management tank to centrifuge in the same positioning as shown in this video by the technician. Please note the orientation of the solvent management skid and the centrifuge. Ensure you have your one and a half inch tri-clamp and gasket present and adjoin the discharge hose to the centrifuge elbow as shown in this video. Again, noting the orientation of the tri-clamp positioning to facilitate tightening later. Identify and pick the pressure equalization line, one and a half inch tri-clamp, and accompanying guylon gasket. Attach pressure equalization line to the piping shown in this video, located on the solvent management skid. Again, please note the orientation of the tri-clamp during the attachment. Now, connect the pressure equalization line to the centrifuge. Next, connect the heat exchanger on the filtration skid to the centrifuge. After connecting the sight glass and corresponding valve to the discharge port of the centrifuge, connect the filtration skid and centrifuge using the hose seen here. Begin by staging the 2-inch gaskets on the corresponding outlets on the tops of the tanks. Now connect all three tanks using the manifold pipe. Lightly secure the manifold pipe at the six contact points. Avoid over tightening, as slight maneuverability will be required during subsequent steps. The custom made process pipe will connect the filtration skid to the manifold at the location shown here by the technician. 
Please note that in this segment, you are looking at the finished product. Now, connect tank 3 and tank 4 with the filtration and color remediation skid. Manual adjustment of the tank might be required by the technician to facilitate the connection of the tank discharge line. Now the tank discharge line must be secured to the filtration and color remediation skid by retightening the bracket with a 3 16 Allen key. The filtration and remediation skid outlet must be connected to the tank for color remediation inlet. To do this, simply connect the points indicated here by the technician with steel piping. And note that this segment displays the finished product. It's suggested that during this step, you first trace a desired path for the hosing to run, keeping in mind attachment points and desired flexibility. Overestimate required length by two to three feet to compensate for margin of error in measurement. Measure, cut, and install pneumatic hose to connect each of the three diaphragm pumps to their corresponding pressure regulator on the air compressor manifold located on the frame of the filtration skid shown here. Now connect your facility's air supply to the manifold as shown here by the technician. Lastly, do another walkthrough of the entire system, tightening all tri-clamps to prevent leaks.